Good Thursday morning, South Florida. As of yesterday, we had tropical depression number 16 form in the southern Caribbean, and this was that disturbance that we were monitoring that got attacked together, and it's currently approaching Nicaragua. In fact, 50 miles south of Puerto Cabezas, Nicaragua, moving northwest at 7 miles per hour, top winds 35 miles per hour, and expected to produce some flooding rains for portions of Central America, including Nicaragua and Honduras. As it continues to move towards the northwest, it is forecast to strengthen into Tropical Storm Nate is the next name on the list as we head into tomorrow. As we head into Saturday, we'll likely be moving near or just over parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. Could be impacting Cancun, Mexico there. And then into the Gulf of Mexico, very warm waters. All could help to fuel this and make it intensify into a Category 1 hurricane as we get into Sunday, into Monday, noticing that the cone has shifted a bit to the west. However, all of the residents here living along the Gulf Coast state from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama through the Florida Panhandle and Georgia will have to monitor this very closely because right now potentially we have a hurricane headed there as we head into late Sunday and into early Monday morning. As we look at the computer models in agreement at least until Saturday that TD-16 moves to the northwest. However, as we head into a late Saturday, Sunday there's a lot of uncertainty. Many of the models keeping it moving either towards New Orleans or a parts of Mississippi here along the coast or Alabama, but then we have the European model, which has been fairly reliable, likely uh, taking this towards parts of the panhandle, possibly. It's still too soon to say, but this is the reason that everyone will have to remain on high alert and also start thinking about preparations. Tropical storm warnings in place for parts of Nicaragua, Honduras, as well as tropical storm watch for a coastal Mexico there along Cancun. So here's a look at tropical depression 16, and then here's a look at our rainmaker and this wave that just continues to drive in all of this wet weather oh, from the ocean. We're seeing widespread showers right now around Lighthouse Point, Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, Parkland, Coral Springs, Tamarack Sunrise. So 95 drenched, dangerous conditions as well along 595 around Davie, Weston. Give yourself extra time. It's messy out there. Aventura, Miami Lakes, Hialeah also seeing the rain. And another batch of heavy downpours now heading towards Miami Beach. Coral Gables, get ready. Some showers starting to move into your neighborhood as well as across the key. We're seeing you're getting slammed with some heavy downpours and spots of flood watches in place through late tonight. And we also have a coastal flood advisory as we continue with a king tide. So high tide times are on 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. And the winds right now still cranking out of the east anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. There's a lot to talk about in weather today. Peak wind gusts up to 37 miles per hour and temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. So we are going to continue with very stormy periods today. Gusty downpours as we head into your Friday. We will likely see some scattered storms, still breezy for the weekend. It all depends on what happens with Nate, potentially, as we will see that it could be closer to us. We'll see more rain, but if it's further away, then maybe not as stormy. But for today, unsettled, very cloudy, and that's the reason for highs in the 80s with those gusty downpours and the potential for some localized flooding. So we're going to remain unsettled through the weekend. We'll be watching the tropics, but we could be on the stormy side with the upper 80s.